Have you ever wondered if a simple mineral could be silently damaging your kidneys? Limiting your intake of this mineral may be enough to reverse kidney disease and improve renal function. According to the World Health Organization, millions of people are unknowingly affected by high levels of certain minerals that can lead to severe kidney problems. In this video, we'll dive into the specifics of how these minerals can harm your health and, more importantly, what you can do to detoxify them from your body. Imagine a life free from the fear of kidney disease, where your body functions at its optimal best. By following the steps we outline, you can significantly reduce the risk of kidney damage and enhance your overall well-being. We'll share practical, easy-to-follow tips that have helped countless individuals maintain healthy kidneys and improve their quality of life. So, stay with us till the end of this video, because you won't want to miss our simple yet effective detox methods that can make a huge difference in your kidney health. Embark on a journey to a healthier you. Gathering here today, I want to share something vital with you. Every single day, I find myself reassuring someone that potassium isn't as dangerous as it's often made out to be. But there's another mineral in our diets that demands far more caution. Medical reports have shown that patients in stages 3 and 4 of kidney disease have managed to delay dialysis for years and even improve their GFR numbers by steering clear of this particular mineral. This mineral is a hidden danger to kidney health, one that not enough people are aware of. This is all about to change. There is a growing body of research focused on reducing the intake and absorption of this mineral to enhance kidney function. The mineral I'm talking about is phosphorus. Unfortunately, many patients aren't hearing enough about phosphorus from their doctors. But the latest medical science is clear. To improve kidney function, you must be vigilant about your phosphorus intake. Don't wait, start managing your phosphorus levels now for better kidney health. Is this mineral the main cause of kidney damage? While everyone was focused on potassium, phosphorus was quietly causing real harm to the kidneys. Many studies now confirm that phosphorus is a dangerous uremic toxin and higher intakes are linked to a faster decline in kidney function. Excessive phosphorus intake is so detrimental that research is even examining its impact on people without chronic kidney disease. In the future, avoiding high phosphorus foods might become a healthier option for everyone, not just those with kidney issues. Science is increasingly pointing to phosphorus intake from foods as a significant cause of kidney damage. Managing phosphorus properly is essential to maintaining and improving your GFR. Excessive phosphorus is toxic to the kidneys and other organs, especially the heart and bones. While it's crucial to minimize phosphorus intake for better kidney function, it's impossible to avoid it entirely. But don't worry, today, we'll explore the best strategies to manage this issue. We'll discuss which foods to avoid, which to embrace, and the vitamin that helps lower phosphorus levels. Together, we'll find the path to repairing your kidneys. Will controlling phosphorus really improve kidney function? You might be wondering, will controlling phosphorus truly help improve kidney function? The answer is yes. Modern medical science strongly supports this. Numerous studies show surprisingly positive results. For instance, a recent study involving 120 patients in stages 3 and 4 of kidney disease found that managing phosphorus and protein intake with a simple dietary plan significantly improved their GFR. On average, all patients regain some kidney function after switching to a low-phosphorus, low-protein diet. Published in the British Journal of Nutrition, this study demonstrated that a low-phosphorus diet could reverse kidney disease. We've also seen this firsthand here at Double Kidney, with a patient who was on the brink of dialysis but is now in stage 2, 
thanks to a treatment focused on reducing phosphorus levels. This case was also documented in a medical journal. To me, it's clear that managing phosphorus effectively is crucial for improving kidney function. The real question now is, how quickly can you see results? How much phosphorus should you have each day to improve kidney function? This is a crucial question, but it doesn't have a straightforward answer. For many years, kidney disease patients were simply told to limit their daily phosphorus intake. However, this strategy was never effective, just like the advice to limit potassium. These dietary restrictions were arbitrary and didn't help improve kidney health. The reason lies in something called bioavailability. Not all phosphorus in foods is created equal. Foods like meat, fish, dairy, packaged foods, whole grains, and legumes all contain phosphorus, but not all of it is bioavailable. This means some types of phosphorus significantly raise your phosphorus levels, while others do not. Arbitrarily limiting phosphorus intake doesn't work. Today, Patients at all stages of kidney disease are advised to get their blood phosphorus levels tested to ensure they are within the right range. It's still recommended to avoid high phosphorus foods and to use a binder if necessary to maintain appropriate levels. What are the correct phosphorus levels? According to the National Kidney Foundation, Patients in stages 3 and 4 of kidney disease should keep their phosphorus levels between 2.5 and 4.5 mg per deciliter. It's crucial to monitor your phosphate levels to protect your kidneys, heart, and bones. Make sure this number is always within the correct range. The most common problem for kidney patients is high phosphorus levels. So, what strategies work best to keep phosphorus under control? There are three key areas to focus on, diet. Some foods need to be avoided, while others should be included more in your diet. Phosphate binders. These can be very effective, even though they may have some side effects. Vitamins. Certain vitamins have been shown to help manage phosphorus levels and improve overall kidney health. Let's start with the foods, as understanding what to eat is essential for improving kidney function. What foods must be completely avoided? When it comes to managing phosphorus levels, some high phosphorus foods must be completely avoided. Common dietary sources of phosphorus include dairy products, red meat, poultry, and seafood. Processed foods such as deli meats, bacon, sausage, sodas, and sports drinks are also high in phosphate. The worst offenders are often baked goods, morning cereals, sauces, and many other packaged foods, all of which can be rich in phosphates. On the other hand, there are foods containing phosphorus that don't need to be entirely avoided. These include legumes, nuts, whole wheat breads and cereals, and certain vegetables like asparagus, tomatoes, and cauliflower. The key difference lies in how the body absorbs phosphorus. Animal-based and processed foods contain a type of phosphorus that is easily absorbed, making them more harmful. Phosphorus from plant-based foods, however, is not as well absorbed. You can pair these foods with a phosphate binder to enjoy their benefits without the danger of excess phosphorus. In summary, while it's crucial to limit or avoid meat, dairy, and foods with added phosphates, limiting plant-based foods like grains, nuts, seeds, and certain vegetables is not as necessary for managing phosphorus levels effectively. And what about protein? Now, let's talk about protein. There are other ways to decrease phosphorus absorption, which I'll discuss shortly, but it's also crucial to consider the phosphorus to protein ratio in your diet. While limiting phosphorus is key to improving kidney health, 
you don't want to completely avoid high-quality protein foods unless you are supplementing with keto analogs of amino acids. If you're not taking keto analogs, pay close attention to this. Many studies have shown that patients in stages 3 and 4 of kidney disease can improve their kidney function by eating low phosphorus foods that still provide high value protein. High biological value, HBV, protein refers to protein containing foods that include all the essential amino acids, making them complete proteins. This is particularly important for people with kidney disease because they need to consume very little protein, and ensuring none of it goes to waste is crucial for kidney protection. When I talk about high value or complete protein, I'm primarily referring to animal based foods. Protein from plant based foods is usually of lower biological value, though there are a few exceptions. In summary, your kidneys need low phosphorus low-protein foods that are high in biological value. But how can you find these ideal foods? Let's explore this further to discover the best options. What are the best high-quality protein sources for a renal diet? Let's explore the best foods to get your daily protein from if you want to protect your kidneys. Several foods are high in biological value and low in phosphorus making them ideal for a renal diet. Egg whites Egg whites are an excellent source of high-quality protein with fewer calories. They are also lower in phosphorus than any other animal-based protein source, making them uniquely beneficial for people with kidney disease. Given recent studies, we might see egg whites recommended more frequently by nephrologists. However, consult your doctor to ensure you're not consuming too much protein. The amount of protein you consume daily is crucial for kidney health. Soybeans Commonly consumed in Asia in various forms like tofu, soybeans offer many health benefits. They are one of the few plant-based sources of complete protein, meaning they contain all essential amino acids. Research suggests that plant-based proteins have more kidney-protecting benefits than animal-based proteins. While soybeans are higher in phosphorus than egg whites, the phosphorus from plant-based foods is not as well absorbed, which is beneficial. Moderation is key when adding beans and legumes to your diet. Quinoa Though not as rich in protein as soybeans, Quinoa is an exceptional food for a renal diet. It provides both carbs and protein and is a low GI carb, making it a healthy choice. Quinoa is a whole grain packed with nutrients, fiber, and many antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds. Other underrated high-quality protein sources include chia seeds and buckwheat. These are ideal for a renal diet due to their high nutritional value. Remember, consuming a small amount of food with high biological value protein daily was key to slowing GFR decline in a significant recent study. In this study, 120 stage 3 and 4 CKD patients saw an improvement in their GFR on average. However, all patients were instructed to limit protein intake to below 0.75 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So, it's important to avoid consuming too much protein. How do I know how much protein I should eat per day? You might be wondering, how do I know how much protein I should eat each day? Protein is essential for your body and getting the right amount daily is crucial for managing kidney disease and maintaining or improving your GFR levels. It's a serious mistake not to track your protein intake, as many kidney patients unknowingly consume too much protein, which can lead to a decline in kidney function. So, what should you do? The best course of action is to accurately know how much protein you're eating each day. Studies have shown that focusing on low-protein staple foods, especially those from low-biological value sources, 
is key to reducing overall protein intake and improving kidney function. In summary, focusing on a diet with low total protein intake, low phosphorus levels, and mostly high biological value protein sources is essential for improving kidney function. How can you decrease phosphorus absorption? So, what can you do to lower phosphorus absorption in people with kidney disease? Calcium-based phosphate binders are often recommended for this purpose. These are antacid tablets available over the counter, like those with the brand name DAMS. Taking them with meals can be beneficial because the calcium carbonate in these binders binds to the phosphorus in the foods you eat. This helps remove excess phosphorus through the bowel, preventing your body from absorbing too much. It's essential to discuss with your doctor if you're not already taking one of these binders. They not only help control phosphorus levels but also have additional benefits. Since they're calcium-based, they can raise your serum calcium levels, which are often low in individuals with kidney disease. Another perk is that calcium-based phosphate binders can protect you from excess oxalates, which can contribute to kidney stone formation. Taking a binder with meals can significantly reduce oxalate intake. Additionally, there's a particular vitamin that can help reduce blood phosphorus levels. This was highlighted in a case study published in the Orthomolecular Medicine News Service, where a patient was able to improve from stage 4 back to stage 2 kidney disease. As we come to the end of this video, remember that limiting the intake of this mineral could be the key to pushing back kidney disease and improving kidney function. Your health journey is unique, and every small step you take towards better kidney health matters. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What experiences or tips do you have for managing kidney disease? Share your thoughts and join the conversation in the comments below. Your insights could make a real difference in the lives of others facing similar challenges. Thank you for watching and being a part of our community.